what is going on guys anger collections in the house for another video so this is a fan favorite man this is one of my favorite videos to make uh this is the uh the info i think we're on number 11 now so i love doing it i love seeing everyone votes and everyone's comments so first question when did you start taking magic the gathering serious i mean very serious right <laughs> Looking at the, the votes over here, um, I think after Mirrodin, when a lot of people started, you know, playing very competitive, uh, for me, I started playing Magic, uh, I started Ice Age, uh, but then competitively, <clears throat> uh, I played Onslaught, you know, but back then, there's this format, it's like Type 1.5, and I think I remember I played, I was playing a black white deck with Zorn orbs and, you know, land tax. And then I have like hippies and Sarah Angel, you know, with swords of plowshares and, you know, um, him to Torax. It's kind of like a black white control. It was, it was fun though, but, uh, onslaught block and standard, I was playing a, a black white, another black white, but it was a cleric. And I remember when uh, Darksteel, the Mirrodin block came out, uh, Skull Club was printed, and oh my god, it was, it was like crazy, I, you know, playing against Beast, Tribal, there's Goblin, which is like the most uh, popular one uh, in that format, uh, but yeah, it was, it was crazy, man, you <laughs> know, Darksteel got banned, I mean, uh, Skull Clamp got banned, it was so powerful, uh, and then I stopped at Kamigawa. I don't know why, maybe it's just, I don't know. I stopped with Kamigawa and then uh, I came back around Lorwyn, which, which I played uh, Kithkin. You know, I played Mono White and then Red White Kithkin, you know, with a Johnny Vengeance. It was it was pretty good. And then from there, it was just like on and off. So, I don't know. So, I guess I'm like before Mirrodin, you know, like that whole onslaught. So, yeah, very interesting. And as far as like the comments over here, uh, there's one over here, very interesting, man, uh, from MTG Hill Billy. Uh, he says, never, never, <laughs> because it's just a game to play and it's always changing with power level. Can't look at collecting because of reprints. So it's just a fun game to play. So I won't blame you, man. You know, there's reprints, man. If there's, there's a lot of you guys that are, that are like feeling like this too you know it's you know it's, it's just a game you know and as far as like value wise you can't really just collect and collect more cards because of reprints the value is just gonna like keep dropping you know so yeah i totally totally understand man so the next one next question which mtg variant you prefer to play the most hmm um so this is a split man that is crazy this is a split uh as far as personal preference um i really really just prefer uh, i'm an old school guy so i like the regular copy um because as far as like when you're playing a game right of magic and you know there's like cards on the table you know in front of you um it's just easy easier to like read there's you no know, foil wise when you're shuffling um you're playing against like multiple variants and you see like different arts different you know it's it's crazy how like magic nowadays there's so many variants and you don't even how many arts have like swords to plowshares how many arts have like you know it's it's getting ridiculous right now but i understand some of the some of you guys prefer the special variants because commander is more like a, you know a lot of people try to bling out their decks so but like i said for me i really prefer just the regular non-foil one you know so yeah that's pretty good man all right so the next question um do you have an exit plan for your mtg investment slash collection i'm actually really surprised on this one because many of you guys says no i was like wow wow so you guys just buy non-stop <laughs> and i have no plan i just keep everything 
Um, I think for me, um, my advice is you gotta at least know the value of your collection as far as like, you know, each card, you know, what you have, um, and at least know a place to sell, how to sell, you know, whether you're just gonna sell to the store, buy list it, or you're gonna sell it to like other store, you know, like, you know, it's at least you have, you, you know, you have to know how to sell and where to sell it. And because no matter, you know, what you have, the value, reprints, things like that, at least, you know, you know a place where you can get the most out of your collection, you know, at least know uh, the value. Um, I think that's going to be very important because a lot of people are uh, kind of like worried about their the value of their collection. And if you don't have an exit plan, you know, uh, you, you're going to get, you know, you're not going to get the most out of it, man. Um, and there's a uh, comment over here. <laughs> with MF, <laughs> MF Doom 1898. Look at this. I'm collecting till I'm dead. Son. <laughs> all right. All right. I got you. I got you. man. I got you. All right. So next question. Which MTG era you prefer? Hmm. This is a split one. Very interesting, man. But, you know, you know me. I'm an old school guy, man. I love, I love the 60 card era. There's, you, you, uh, for me, you, you just can't, you just get compared. You know, the, the competitive nature of the, the one on you know, one on one, man, you know, like the new deck, new strategy, new combo, the sideboard, you know, just like face to face with one. It's kind of like playing chess, you know, you got to beat that one person, you know, and you're doing everything, you know, the mind tricks, the, you know, it, it's just, it's just different. I know um, Commander is very competitive as well, but I think it's more of like a, a casual to me, even, even CEDH. Yeah, for me it's just different the 60 card sideboard you know hands down man hands down and i have you know there's a lot of you guys commented over here and look at this by yuri 6060 i've just been getting into commander and damn i've been missing out <laughs> all right and there's one over here too pando uh, 5442 uh, it says here, uh, 60 cards with sideboards. Yeah. Nowadays, Commander is most likely casual, yet a show-off format among friends. I don't mind Commander, but not every week here in the U.S. There you go. All right. <laughs> this is funny. Look at this. By Alfred Thompson the Fourth. Uh, he's like, where are my 40-card alpha rules employers at? <laughs> so expensive so expensive man so yep that is going to be for that one and then for the last question how much value is your mtg collection all right so this is almost a split as well uh it says here majority uh uh 56 percent is the is a little bit higher than the 4999 below um which I kind of like expected because you know like I said it's almost split right this shows me that many are actually new players that are just starting or came back they kind of like jump start their you know playing magic again uh, so they're trying to build up their collection too so but yeah it's a uh, very interesting um, <laughs> for myself obviously I mean one black Lotus card is uh, like already <laughs> 5,000 over so yeah, uh, I think this is very interesting, uh, you know, poll. Uh, look at this. Uh, comment from GM Grudge Monster. That's over, mostly in sealed boxes from 2010 to 2021. I managed to pick up, though right now those seem to be retracting. I have some reserves, but nothing fantastic. The rest of my cards probably total well under from... How they reprint these days so very interesting man so that is going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, please consider liking and subscribing hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video and with that anger out boys peace